Welcome to the Raw Review. It is October 4th, 1993, so let's jump right into it. So up first, we have the Intercontinental title battle royale. That was hyped up a lot last week. The final two in this match will go on next week and have a match for the Intercontinental title. Now, going into this match, we have a bunch of entrances, and the final entrance is Macho Man Randy Savage. Now, Macho Man immediately takes his glasses his jacket, his hat off, and just immediately goes up to the top rope and targets Giant Gonzalez. So, after attacking Giant Gonzalez, they keep going in on him, and eventually everyone else gangs up on Giant Gonzalez and tosses him out of the match. He is the first eliminated. You will notice a counter right here, and this will tick one off, and that will show the amount of people left in the match. We got another big person out next as Mabel is eliminated by Diesel and IRS. And then immediately after this, Rivals, Razor, and IRS go at it for a little bit. IRS is tossed out. Bash and Booger then eliminates 123Kid. I am very sad this happened as Bash and Booger deserved to be eliminated way more than 123Kid. It goes to commercial break and when we come back, I see Martel eliminate someone and I didn't really know so I had to look at who was in the match. Then I realized, oh, it was Bob Backlund. So Backlund was eliminated. Mr. Perfect eliminates Diesel by lowering down the top rope when Diesel tries to eliminate Perfect and Martel eliminates Jimmy Snuka and then Bam Bam Bigelow eliminates Mr. Perfect. Now we have Adam Bomb eliminating Marginetti and Bigelow eliminating Tatanka. Macho then takes out Bastion Booger single handedly. That is a big dude. I don't know how he did that. And then Razor comes in and delivers one of the meanest clotheslines I have ever seen and takes out Bam Bam Bigelow. Like, what a sell from Bam Bam, too. Like, that was, ri that was oh my God, that was disgusting. And then Owen Hart eliminates MVP, not Montel Vontavious Porter, but like the guy with a baseball paint on his face. He does not last long, I hope. Now the Quebecers are in this match, and Jacques of the Quebecers eliminates Owen Hart. And it is down to Adam Baum, Rick Martel, the Quebecers, Macho Man, and Razor Ramon. And the heels form a faction, that's Adam Baum, Rick Martel, and the Quebecers against Macho and Razor. Now they just go at him, and then it's Adam Bomb against Macho and the Quebecers and Rick Martel against Razor Ramon. So then eventually Macho gets the upper hand on Adam Bomb and eliminates him. And then Bomb holds on to Macho's foot when he gets eliminated, which allows the Quebecers to dump Macho over the top rope. So it is down to Rick Martel the Quebecers, and Razor Ramon. Now, since it is just the Quebecers and Rick Martel against Razor, Razor is getting beaten up right now. Like, he is going through so much punishment. Eventually, he is able to kick Rick Martel, but then a double body slam from the Quebecers pretty much stops all of his momentum. Then he eventually gets up and is able to fire up, make a comeback, and toss out both of the Quebecers to give him a title shot against Rick Martel, as they are the final two in this match. So that means next week, him and Rick Martel will have a match for the Aaron Connell title. So I gave this match an 8 out of 10. I like Battle Royales a lot. Uh, so it's automatically going to be pretty good in my opinion. But this match was really good for a Battle Royale. So I gave it an 8. Now we have the Heavenly Bodies versus Mark Taylor and Scott Thomas. Now, squash match, 4 out of 10. Moving on, so we have a Bam Bam and Doink the Clown segment from Superstars that airs on Raw. So what happens, Doink the Clown, who has recently turned babyface, is rivals with Bam Bam Bigelow. What happens is he has his two buckets, he pours confetti onto Bam Bam Bigelow, and Luna Vachon's Bam Bam Bigelow's manager stays there while Bam Bam goes to the back. Doink the Clown pours water on Luna Vachon. This causes Bam Bam to go into a frenzy. Just starts chasing Doink the Clown around the ring. Eventually, Doink is able to hide under the ring and the enhancement talent that was currently in the ring for Doink the Clown to go up against before Bam Bam started chasing him. Bam Bam just starts working on him instead of being him up because he's messing with Luna and whatever she's doing. And in the meantime, 
Doink sets up a tripwire between the two barricades. So Bam Bam tries to walk towards Doink, but then he trips and falls and f- does a little front roll. And this segment was not that good. I mean, Doink Clown as babyface, I feel like works better than as a heel. As much as a hot take that is, I feel like Doink the Clown as a babyface works better than he is as a heel. So it gets a 5 out of 10. Now, this Raw was pretty good for its time and it is tied for the second best Raw I have reviewed. So I give this a 5.5 out of 10. Pretty good episode. So I'm excited to see what happens next week with Razor Ramon versus Rick Martel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the ever-living crap out of that bell, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.